reproduction in plants. Plants reproduce through different methods. They reproduce sexually through seeds and asexually through stems, roots or leaves of the plants. We will study about asexual reproduction of plants later in the chapter. Through reproduction, plants pass on their characteristic traits from one generation to another. This is termed as inheritance of traits. Thus, a mango seed grows into a mango plant and a potato plant grows from a potato tuber. Plants reproduce sexually through flowers which are the reproductive parts of a plant. The pollen grains produced by the anther of the stamen are transferred to the stigma of the female part that is carpal of the flower. This process is called pollination. After pollination, the pollen grains move towards the ovary and fuse with the ovules in the ovary. This process is called fertilization. The fertilized ovules become the seeds and the ovary develops into a fruit. Seed Dispersal Dispersal of seeds gives all the seedlings a fair chance to grow. The process of scattering of seeds over long distances is known as seed dispersal. Nature has brought about seed dispersal so that more and more plants can grow over large distances and all living things can get food and other benefits from them. We know that plants cannot move from where they are rooted. Then, how do seeds travel over large distances? Agents of Seed Dispersal Seed get disposed by various agents like wind, water, animals. These are known as agents of dispersal. Some plants also employ the method of explosion of fruits. Wind Seeds dispersed by wind are small and light. Some are hairy, example, cotton seeds and dandelion. Seeds of drumstick and madhumalati have thin papery wings. We often see them floating in the air. Water Plants that grow near or in water bodies disperse their seeds through water. The fruits of lotus and water lily have small hollow spaces that enable them to float on water. Coconuts have a fibrous covering that make it light. The ripe coconuts which fall naturally into water 
are carried to far off lands. Animals Fleshy and juicy fruits like mango, guava, watermelon, and papaya are eaten by man and some other animals. The seeds are thrown away after eating and thus dispersed. Birds eat the fruits of banyan, fig and peepal trees. They swallow the seeds along with the fruits. These seeds come out with the bird droppings. The fruits of caltrop, shaft flower and mimosa have thorns and spines. The seeds of the tiger claw plant have hooks or burrs. These stick onto the fur or skin of the animals and even on our clothes and hair. Explosion of Fruits Some fruits burst open on ripening and scatter their seeds. Balsam, pea, ladyfinger, geranium, mustard and touch-me-not plants disperse their seeds in this way. Reproduction in Plants Structure of a Seed A seed is generally hard and has a pore through which it absorbs water. It has an outer covering called the seed coat. The seed coat protects the seed from injury or water loss. Enclosed by the seed coat, there are structures called seed leaves or cotyledons and an embryo. The cotyledons store food and provide nutrients to the embryo. A seed may have one or two cotyledons. Seeds with one cotyledon are called monocot seeds. Some monocot seeds are wheat, barley, maize, rice, etc. Seeds with two cotyledons are called dicot seeds. Some dicot seeds are pea, bean, gram, etc. Germination The growth of a seed into a young plant is called germination. A seed germinates only when the conditions are favorable. It needs the presence of water, oxygen, warmth and sunlight to germinate. Stages of Germination The seed absorbs water and swells up. As the seed swells up, the seed coat splits. This stage is called the sprouting stage. This white structure grows into root. The root grows downward into the ground and anchors the seed in place. It is only then that the shoot begins to grow. Germination of a dicot seed It occurs in 
two ways. One, germination in pea seed. Here, the seed leaves remain inside the seed and under the soil, whereas shoot grows upwards. Once the stored food supply is over, the seed leaves dry out. Two, germination of bean seed. Here, the growing shoot pulls the seed leaves out of the seed coat and above the soil. These seed leaves are the first leaves for these plants. Germination of a monocot seed. Germination of corn seed. Here, many roots grow from the base of the shoot to prevent the tall plant with a thin stem from being blown over. There is only one seed leaf in these plants. Seeds don't start germinating the moment they detach from the parent plant. Sometimes they remain dormant, that is, inactive for months, even years. They start germinating only when conditions are favorable for the seed to grow. Asexual reproduction in plants. Plants also reproduce asexually, that is, without seeds. This process of growing plants from other parts of the plant, like stem, root, leaves, is called vegetative propagation. It occurs naturally or can be induced by man. Natural Vegetative Propagation In nature, vegetative propagation occurs through stem, leaves and roots. Following are some examples. Stem Rhizome in ginger Runner in strawberry Stolen in jasmine and tuber in potato give rise to new plants. Leaf Base of the leaf of bulbil swells to form a bulb that grows into a new plant. Leaf of bryophyllum grows new shoots from the edge of the leaf. Root In sweet potato, the plant arises from the root tuber. Artificial Vegetative Propagation Man has used various methods of vegetative propagation to grow new plants in huge numbers. Grafting is one such method used in the commercial growth of plants like rose, avocado, apple, pear, and peach. In grafting, the shoot, bud or twig of a desired plant is placed on the stem of another plant. This way, their tissues join together. 
grafting combine the qualities of flowering or fruiting of one plant with the other rose plants that produce double colored flowers such as yellow and orange roses are usually grown through grafting 